There's seven specific celebrities who perfectly represent the seven heavenly virtues, and we're going to start off with the virtue of temperance. Temperance is often associated with restraint or sobriety. This restraint can be in any form, such as restraint from overindulgence in drugs, sexual pleasure, or food. When we talk about temperance, especially in terms of sobriety, the first celebrity that comes to mind is Robert Downey Jr. Yes, our very own Iron Man. While you may be fascinated by his witty comebacks and playboy image on screen, he's a true embodiment of temperance in real life. If you're a fan of Robert Downey Jr., you may already know that he was a serious drug addict not so long ago. He was unhirable due to his habit of substance abuse, and this addiction even landed him in jail. Well, we can't put the entire blame on him considering the fact that his father, Robert Downey Sr., was also an addict. He was delusional to the point that he let his six-year-old son try marijuana at home. So, you can imagine the life Robert has been living since childhood. The only form of bond he had with his father was through drugs. But the story of his comeback is so inspirational that it will leave you in awe. After years of substance abuse and losing many things including his career, Downey finally found footing in 2003 after his wife pushed him to get treatment. It was a hard journey for him. He has been abusing for years and sobriety comes at a cost of great self-restraint. But somehow, the actor managed everything and became clean. He had support from his wife, but things that actually helped him come out of his overindulgence were medication, therapy, and drug addiction programs. Even after leaving drugs and alcohol for good, he struggled to find work for many months. But he steadily started appearing in films like Zodiac and Kiss Kiss, Bang Bang, and his career picked up from there. Now we all know him as an iconic character, Iron Man. He was once viewed as a toxic celebrity, but now now, directors are lining up to sign him for films. The fact that he owes a major part of his career to sobriety and self-restraint makes his comeback even more inspirational for people looking to overcome gluttony. Hope, JK Rowling Hope is one of the three theological virtues. It means expecting good from life and staying positive no matter the circumstances. She's the author of the famous book series Harry Potter. We all know how classical her writings are and how she's given all of us a fantasy world named Hogwarts. But do you know that it took her many depressed and long years to even find a publisher for her books? Before publishing her books and becoming the celebrity that she is now, she faced countless unimaginable challenges. Her mother passed away when she was 25 leaving her an immense grief. This is when she started working on Harry Potter. After her mother's demise, she married, moved to Portugal, and had a daughter. But things didn't turn out good there as well. She got divorced after 13 months and had to move with her daughter to Scotland. There, she was all alone with her daughter, dealing with poverty and merely surviving on state benefits. But the woman didn't lose hope and continued working on her novels out of a cafe. It's so heart-shattering to know she couldn't even afford a typewriter or a computer. Not only that, she manually wrote a 90,000-word-long manuscript for her work 12 times to send to 12 publishers because she didn't have money to photocopy. Even after all these efforts, she was rejected by all 12 of the publishers in her own words. By every usual standard, I was the biggest failure I knew. But hope can do wonders for you. A door finally opened for JK Rowling when a publishing house in London agreed to give her writing a chance. And this happened all because the daughter of the CEO fell in love with the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter is now the most read and watched character of our time. Her books have sold more than 500 million copies and have won numerous awards. J.K. Rowling inspires a lot of people to be hopeful, resilient, and positive in the face of challenges. Fortitude, Tom Cruise. Fortitude is associated with courage. It's the ability to bravely face agony, pain, danger, and intimidation. And one celebrity who perfectly fits this virtue is Tom Cruise. He once said, I always look for the challenge and something that's different. Even at his age, he's ready to face uncertainty, pain, and danger with bravery. It has been reported countless times that Tom Cruise performs his own stunts, even if that includes scaling Burj Khalifa, being strapped to an A400 plane, or continuing to act even with a broken ankle. The man truly acts like a warrior. In his recent film, he even flew a giant jet all by himself. And it was not your average flying jet, it was a Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet. Not only that, during the shooting of one of the Mission Impossible movies, he broke his ankle while performing performing stunt on a tall building. And guess what? He continued to perform the stunt even with a broken ankle. 
All these unremarkable acts of fortitude by Tom Cruise just makes us all wonder what risks are we taking in our lives. We definitely can scale tall buildings like Tom Cruise, but we can push our boundaries and willingly face uncertainties and danger to achieve something in life. Justice Angelina Jolie The virtue of justice is closely related with the virtue of charity. It's all about speaking for the empowerment of others and practicing acts of selflessness. When we talk about social justice in particular, there's no celebrity who can fit this role better than Angelina Jolie. Apart from her uncanny acting skills and high status as a model, she is also known for her humanitarian work and fight for social justice. She actively works for combating injustice, promoting equality for women, and helping refugees all around the world. She said on one occasion, there are simply so many people around the world suffering and with so little and in so much pain and to not be spending our time conscious of them and finding solutions for them, it's an empty life. She's working constantly with the United United Nations to help solve problems for refugees. She has visited various countries including Iraq and Thailand to listen to the people who are forced to flee their homes. Not only that, she's a strong advocate of women empowerment. In 2021, she started an incredible program that focuses on training women as beekeepers. This is a very intriguing and interesting initiative. She also works for orphan children, contributes to wildlife safety, raises awareness about sexual violence, and cares for the environment. She's the living breathing example of how justice should be practiced in a greater sense. Faith Oprah Winfrey Our next virtue is faith, a quality that requires a close connection with God and His guidance. It's all about believing in the higher power and leaving things to Him even in the most difficult of circumstances. Oprah Winfrey, one of the famous TV personalities, has always been open about her spiritual journey. While she may be a fun, lively face to you, she has faced a lot in life. We see her now as a successful woman who runs her own network, appears on talk shows and works on fitness, but her life was different as a young girl. Being born in poverty, surviving sexual abuse as a child, dealing with underage pregnancy, and facing racism have made her rely more on faith and God. During an interview talking about her new network, OWN, she said, Every story about OWN was that it was struggling. I literally had to come to Jesus meeting with myself to say, Lord, what would you have me do? What I know for sure is that the only way to hold on to yourself is through a spiritual base. Otherwise, you lose it. She's currently starting a new series belief on own, discussing topics like faith and spirituality. Charity Taylor Swift Charity is the art of giving and helping people selflessly. While there are many known faces who are charitable and kind in their own ways, we'll talk about one star who's not only generous with their money but also with their time. Yes, we're talking about none other than Taylor Swift. By the way, she just became a billionaire in 2023 thanks to her Grand Eras tour and new releases. Her net worth is estimated to be nearly $2 billion and that that's just from her tours and songs as we're not counting any sponsorships and mercs. So the point is, how much do you think Taylor must be spending on charities? While there's no exact estimate, there have been various accounts where she has been spotted generously giving to charities, helping individuals, and even showering her fans with expensive gifts. She once helped a college student pay her student fee of worth $1,989. Not only that, she wrote a song for a boy suffering from neuroblastoma, performed it live, and donated all the proceeds from her track to cancer charities. These are just a few accounts of her charitable acts. She's also actively donating to libraries, schools, and cancer hospitals. And as we mentioned, she's also quite generous with her time as fans often find her at their bridal showers, birthday parties, and celebrations. She also likes paying surprise visits to patients in hospitals. Prudence Emma Watson While prudence is the virtue that's often associated with caution, it's also very closely related to wisdom. It's the ability to behave wisely and say the wisest things. And who could we find here better than Emma Watson, an advocate of women empowerment and equality and a genuine soul? Ever since she was a child playing Hermione Granger in one of the most famous movies, Harry Potter, she appeared to be smarter and wiser than her age. Her calm, soft way of speaking has always managed to get through the audience and get her the needed attention. She has some very idealistic and wise views on equality and feminism. One occasion, she said, both men and women should feel free to be sensitive. Both men and women should feel free to be strong. It's time that we all perceive gender on a spectrum instead of two sets of opposing ideals. She has a very unique way of thinking and approaching life in general, and there are lots of clear messages in her wise words that we all should follow.